All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Nisco Films TV. We are broadcasting live from the Brooklyn Street Fair. We are just outside of Super Wings, located at 1218 Union Street in Brooklyn. We've got beautiful people here on deck. This episode is powered by NoiseRadio.com. I am your host, Natasha Von Castle, the music queen, and we're about to do it, y'all, live from the Brooklyn Street Fair. All right, we are here with the one, with the only, with the absolutely beautiful Colette, who happens to be the owner of Super Wings, who happens to be chef extraordinaire, but today you are community activist extraordinaire as you look after the children who are getting ready to go back to school. Yes. Tell us about the fourth annual Brooklyn Street Festival. Well, we're here today to celebrate four years of being in Crown Heights community and particularly to serving these people who have come out and served us back. We wanted to give back to the community by serving the kids particularly because education is such a big deal. It is everything. And I know that it is the reason that I am here and able to do what I can do. So I wanted to do as much as I can to ensure that the kids of Crown Heights and beyond have as much opportunity for them as I had for myself. Now you've teamed with someone who is equally as passionate as you are, yeah. which is Assemblyman Kareem Kamara. Yeah. Tell us about that relationship. Well, Kareem and I have been working on this, um, this particular event now for the past four years, and he is probably the one person that I can say is as passionate about kids as I am. Plus, he just loves doing things for the community. Yes. He's one of those people that he would find every opportunity to give back. So being partners with him, being neighbors to him is even more awesome than I could ask for. Right. Now, we've got people young, people older, people in between. Yeah. 
The street is packed, everybody is having fun. But I have to ask you, what is your favorite chicken wing that you're eating today? I know what the people out there are eating, but what are you eating today? Well, my favorite is our newest flavor. It is called Liming. It's a lemon-based flavor that we started recently. It is so awesome. It is probably, I think, my, my very favorite right now, and I'd love everybody to come try it. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, 1218 Union Street. We are broadcasting live with the beautiful Miss Colette from Super Wings NY. You must come down. You must must partake. Anything you want to say to the people before we go? I mean, there's so much you can say, but anything you want to say? I want to invite everybody down. I want to tell them that if you can, visit Super Wings. Really, it's about an experience. It is about making sure that the Caribbean community and the Caribbean flavors reach all, just about everyone that can enjoy good food. And also just to say thank you. Thank you to you and to all that you do. But thank you to our general public who have continued to support us all these years. Okay, wait, one more thing. I'm sorry, people, I lied. We're going into football season. We're going into football season. All right, which team are you rooting for? Well, I'm not rooting for any team because everybody eats wings. So if I were to do that, I would split my market. So instead, I just love everybody. I don't know if it's a touchdown, a goal. I don't know what it is, but everybody loves wings. And at football time, it's like Christmas for wings. So I love it. Okay, and we love you. you. All right, thank you so much. All right. Once again, this is Natasha Von Castle broadcasting for Misco Films TV, powered by Noise Radio. We are live on location with Miss Colette, Super Wings, 1218 Union Street, also 888 Utica Avenue, two locations to serve you. Come and get your wings on. We are joined right now by Sharon and Monique, who are two very influential, very special women in the community of Brooklyn and for this particular event where we are right now, which is the Brooklyn Street Festival. I'm going to start with Sharon. Sharon, I know you're very passionate about the Lions Club. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, our name is the Brooklyn Metropolis Lions Club. My name is Sharon Joyo and this is Lion Mooney. I am now the present president. Lion Monique is the past president. What we do, we try to be very active in community development. We are, we are particularly interested in the blind, where you see the dogs that people have that are blind. Lions are number one that we are important with that issue. If we, we get dogs trained and we also participate in every outreach in the community that we can. I would like to turn it over to Lion Monique so she can be much more detailed into the, the significance of lions in the community. Thank you, Lion Sharon. Um, it is really a pleasure to be here today and to collaborate with so many community partners. And one of the things that we at Brooklyn Metropolis Lions Club are most proud of is our ability to work with people throughout the community. In addition to working with our community leaders, we also partner with Kingsbrook Jewish Medical Center where we host our meetings on the fourth Sunday of every month and we work with them on various initiatives. So whether it is with an event such as this in the street and in the community or working with Kingsbrook or working with our partners at God's Battalion of Prayer where we do a monthly feeding program or working with Lighthouse International where we provide services for those in the community actually by helping them to identify what their vision challenges are and making sure that we point out the proper services for them. So we are really proud and we're very appreciative to everyone for joining us today and appreciative for your support and remember four Sundays every month Kingsbrook Jewish Medical Center at 4 p.m. Lion Sharon will steer us into another fabulous year. All right, so I've got two questions. First, how do volunteers get involved with your club? Well, I'll tell you, interestingly enough, we have a table right across the way, and a gentleman walked up and I started talking with him. He filled out the application. So I think we have a new member coming next month. That's the first thing. We also have a website. You'll find us on Facebook, Brooklyn Metropolis Lions. So look for us there. And also, anyone that you see today with the vest, such as the ones we're wearing, just feel free to approach us, ask us questions, get further information, and get to know us. We're eager to help. We're eager to partner with people. And growing membership is a big part of what we do. 
All right, and Sharon, how do children and parents become involved with the Lions, uh, Lions International, Brooklyn Metropolis? Well, we have a Leo's Club, which is for the kids, and um, we are urging parents to children where they can become involved. The same way they can meet any one of us in the yellow vest and sign up your kids, because what that does is it gives them something to do. It teaches them how to give back from a very early age. We have a structured um, entity where the Leos meet together with the Lions and they organize their own little section of their own little um, community and their own little club. People within their age groups and they pick their own president, their own secretary, but we watch over them. So it's a good thing for parents to make sure that their kids get involved with and we would be happy to take care of your kids at every one of our meetings. It's also held on the last Sunday of every month at the Kingsbrook Jewish Medical Center at the ballroom. So you can visit us again on our Facebook page and we have a website. It's up and running yet. I think it's in progress, but certainly the Facebook page, I know it's there. So please look for us. We're there. Send us a message and we promise to get back to you. And so on behalf of the Brooklyn community and worldwide, we thank you ladies and your entire team for what you do. Thank, thank you very you. much. It's a pleasure. Continue the good work in the community. And anytime you have any outreach that you would like to assist with, just let us know and we help bring things together. Okay. We just come as helpers. All right. Thank you. That's it for us. I wish you were here right now at the Brooklyn Street Festival with Sharon and Monique. Thank you. All right. So again, as you hear from me, as you hear from me, future leaders of tomorrow, let freedom ring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, so this is Natasha Castle, the music queen. We are live on location from the Brooklyn Street Festival. Right now we are outside of 1218 Union Street, which happens to be the address of Super Wings NY. Right now I am joined by Joined with, joined by, joined by, joined with. Okay. All right, I'm joined with. No, joined by the one, the only, Dillinger Movements. Hello, Dillinger. Well, hello, um, Natasha Broncastle, <laughs> uh, my co-host, lovely co-host. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you're a radio presenter on 95.3 Noise Radio. Um, what brings you to the Brooklyn Street Festival today? Well, you know, um, it's just the community activities that's going on. Um, Super Wings, Noise Radio, We Vibes Radio, um, Assemblyman Kareem Kamara has really put together a great opportunity for the community to come together and um, express themselves. So it's, it's just amazing to be out here and we're live broadcasting today. All right, now this is their fourth year putting this event together. You are a Brooklyn native. You must have a favorite flavor chicken wing from Super Wings. And I know it's hard to narrow it down to just one, but what would your favorite flavor be? I would definitely say the Lucian um, honey mustard wings. Definitely rocking it out with some salad, pineapple salad with the rice and peas or white rice, anyone, you know, and, and I have to have a, a, a pineapple ginger. Um, oh, the pineapple ginger lemonade. Yeah, ah. definitely, gotta, definitely gotta get some of that. Um, so either, and I'm in Brooklyn, I'm at 888 Utica Avenue, or I'm right here at 1218 Union Street, where it's love, vibes, and family. And you know, when you come to Super Wings, you gotta get that um, your Super Wings customers uh, appreciation card. Yes. Stamp it every time them come, and it's a star, actually. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are, once again, broadcasting from the Brooklyn Street Festival. Right now, we are right outside 1218 Union Street. Happens to be the best location for chicken wings. We're coming into football season. Definitely, this is where you want to be. Nisco Films TV, powered by NoiseRadio.com. We're going to be back with a little bit more. Back at you live from the Brooklyn Street Festival, and look who I have beside me, none other than Mr. Kareem Kamara, who is our assemblyman. So, sir, how does it feel to be in this community? Well, it feels great. I grew up in Crown Heights, uh, and uh, since I was five years old, I said I was born, my family lived here. I have fond memories of Crown Heights. Crown Heights has grown. 
I had had some challenges as a neighborhood, uh, but now it's a place that many people, not just across the United States, but across the world, want to visit. Brooklyn become a destination spot, and there's no beacon in Brooklyn like Crown Heights. Uh, it's growing as a community, uh, and I'm glad to represent parts of Crown Heights in the New York State Assembly and as a pastor of Abundant Life Church. All right, now, speak as you as you have such deep roots in the community. Tell us how it how it feels and how you became a part of this particular street festival. Well, uh, Super Wings and its owner Colette Burnett and I talked a few years ago, and we were trying to find a way to bring the community together. How can we uh, come together, uh, have a vision for our project? bring business owners, uh, bring me as an elected official, bring private citizens, bring people from the Block Association together. And we came up with the idea of doing a back to school uh, event and also a school supply giveaway. This year, uh, we contemplated saying, you know, today is the day that people are in Washington, D.C. for the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. And initially, we said, maybe we should have the event today and we should do a bus trip to Washington. But as we talked in the community, we found out there are many people that were not able to go to Washington. So we said, let's have the event. Let's stand in collective spirit for those individuals who are in Washington, D.C. And it's only fitting that we're doing a back-to-school giveaway because we're standing in unity for people who are in need. So as people in Washington, D.C., are marching, they're at rallies. We're here saying we're with them in spirit and we're doing good work right here in Crown Heights. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Assemblyman Kareem Kamara. He is a person for us. He's an Assemblyman for us. He's a minister for us. And he is a person that you must support whenever voting time comes around. Yes? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All Thank right. you so much. God bless you. All right. So that's it for now. We'll be back with more guests. But in the meantime, take a good look at the face. Don't mistake it. Kareem Kamara, Assemblyman. special features and presentations today on behalf of Nisco Films TV is an interview with Ada Fox who joins me right now. We are here at the Brooklyn Street Festival. Ada is very passionate about Brooklyn and I'm going to allow Ada to tell you a little bit about herself and then we're going to ask her some questions about how she's contributing to the, to the community. So first and foremost, Ada, tell us a little bit about you. My name is Ada Fox and I'm running for the 35th Council District. I love this neighborhood and I'm so excited to get in there and fight to make sure that we have the very best community in the whole city. Now one of the areas, ladies and gentlemen, that Ada fights for us is on the topic of affordable housing. So Ada, tell us a little bit about your platform when it comes to affordable housing. I have experienced building more than a thousand units of affordable housing and I want to make sure that we continue that experience and I can apply that experience here in this district. We need affordable housing. We need to preserve the housing that we have. So many people are getting pushed out of their apartments, they're struggling to pay rent, and we have lots of pressure from developers who are trying to come into this community and they want to big, 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 uh, build big buildings. And we really need to make sure the people who have been in this community, who built this community, who made it the place that it is, can continue to stay here. And that's what I'm fighting for, to make sure that we have a diverse community with uh, people of all income levels. All right, now Ada is a woman of her word, so not only is she passionate about affordable housing, Ada's been very passionate about livable wages. Jobs, jobs, jobs. We need jobs, but not just any jobs. We have There are more than enough minimum wage jobs out there, but you cannot raise a family on minimum wage. New York City is too expensive for that. We need to create living wage jobs that people in this community can have access to. So I want to get into uh, our community, and I want to bring industry in, bring, bring manufacturing back, and make sure that we get those jobs. And in addition, I want to connect our young women and young men in our high schools into 
to the skilled trades. We have uh, plumbers and skilled tradesmen make a lot of money, and there is no reason why we shouldn't have half of the plumbers out there, women, many more of people in our community getting into those trades. And I want to fight to make sure that we uh, build um, great schools that help train our kids for tomorrow. It's, school should not just be a holding ground where people spend their time till they get out, but it really should be a place to learn to think, learn to trade, learn to be able to support yourself when you get out. And that's what I want to do. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, so far we've heard Ada on two very crucial issues. I think she's impressed us on, on, on affordable housing and on jobs. The last platform I think we should touch on is education, in particular schools. So tell us a little bit about your mandate when it comes to schools. I want to end teaching to the test. I want to end school closing. We need to put real resources into our schools. We need to make sure that our kids are coming out prepared and ready to support themselves, to be adults, to take over in uh, New York City. And the only way we're going to do that is if we really invest in our kids. We need to bring in after school programs. We need to bring in support staff. We need to bring in more effective teaching so that our kids are ready, reading on a, you know, on a top grade level and able to graduate and go on to college if they want to. And we need to make sure they get connected with vocational training if that's what they want to do. And that's what I'm going to fight for. All right, so there you have it. We heard from Ada Fox directly. She's taken time out of her campaigning to stop by the Brooklyn Street Festival to talk to us, to talk to you, to let you know she is very passionate about affordable housing, about jobs, and about schools and education. I think Amy is a good runner for this, this election coming up. Do you agree? Absolutely. Thanks so much. All right, so this is Natasha Wancastle signing off for now, but we will be back soon. And once again, vote September the 10th. Make sure you vote. Uh, Amy Fox, yes. Uh, Democrat for City Council. There you go. Thank you very much. Nothing but the best people here at the Brooklyn Street Festival right now. I am joined by Brittany. Take a look at Brittany, ladies and gentlemen, from head to toe. Uh-huh. She designs under the name Idle Hands. And right now, Brittany is ready to talk to us about Labor Day. Yes, Eastern Parkway. Tell us about your section. Well, the name of my section is called Pleasures. The theme of the band this year with LMB Soca City is called Desires of the Heart. All right, your Brittany, as in this lady right here, designing under the name Idle Hands has got some costumes for you, yes? Well, yes. Right now, well, you know, everybody's going crazy getting to gear for Labor Day, and I also have backline costumes available now for $215. Only 215. So come on down and register at the camp, 4523 Avenue L, corner of 46 in Fun City, Brooklyn. Now hold on, just in case they missed it, 4523 Avenue L, corner of 46th Street. And make sure you ask for Brittany. Are you having fun today at the Brooklyn Street? Of course. Yes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Brittany. Idle hands. She wants you to come and masquerade with her. Backline costume still available. Let's do it. All right. Once again, we're broadcasting live from 1218 Union Street. Excuse me. This is the Back to School Drive. Brought to you by Assemblyman Kareem Kamara and Super Wings.